Hello, hello, beautiful people. This is your girl, Shaughnessy. I am back with another video. As you can see, we are froed out today, okay? Froed out, all right? <laughs> Perfect for this video. So, um, I get a lot of questions on how to manage, how to kind of maintain type 4 hair, specifically uh, type 4B, 4C, like myself. And so I have um, just some things that I think will be helpful because it has helped me. I realized on this channel, I do not talk a lot about the care and the maintenance per se, more so the styling. So I'm going to share with you guys something that has been definitely um, major in my natural hair journey. So if you are interested in learning some helpful tips, because I know you are, go ahead and subscribe. Go ahead and like and then leave a comment for me i love to interact with you all and just give me feedback of things that you would like to see let's get into it all right y'all so the key is developing a routine or regimen for your hair so first you want to figure out how often you're going to wash your hair whether it's going to be a week whether it's going to be twice a week, every two to three weeks, or once a month. What I will say is your hair is your hair. So what may work for this natural may not work for you. So um, I started off washing my hair twice a week because uh, I completely big chopped. I kind of had like a mini fade, so it was easy for me to wash, of course. But as it grew, that became a little hard for me to continue. So I did once a week. And the problem I was having is I'm, I'm just not able to be consistent um, with washing my hair once a week. It always ends up leading to about two weeks. So I decided to come up with a routine that I could be the most consistent with. Yes, there's going to be some times where you go outside of that. But for the most part, you want something that's reasonable that fits your lifestyle. Two weeks work for me. So every two weeks, I'm able to wash my hair in deep condition. And it has worked out for me because I'm able to be more consistent. My hair is more trained now. Another thing you want to look at is your porosity of your hair. So you have low porosity um high porosity and normal porosity there's multiple tests that you can try um i did the cup and water test and what you can do is you take a strand of hair if it just sits on top then most likely you have low porosity hair as in it's hard to get moisture in but um once you get it in it stays for a long time because that cuticle is so close so something that has helped me is using warm water in my spray bottle because that helps to open up um my hair follicles to accept that moisture in or warming up different products also um steaming my hair so sometimes when i'm taking a shower i let that steam kind of hit my hair and it helps and then when i deep condition i either use steam or i go under a dryer um you'll learn that heat is very helpful as far as if you have low porosity hair and you're trying to increase um your moisture if it's normal pretty much it kind of falls in the middle it doesn't just drop or you know then most likely you have normal porosity so you don't have to do much with that just moisturize normal you wouldn't have to go an extra mile like you may not need to warm up the water or anything like that if you have higher porosity then your hair sucks in moisture so fast and it gets dry super quick um so you may have to do more sealing with butter but there's more tips of course if you look that up look up your porosity and kind of look at the tips once you figure out your porosity you're able to kind of develop what works for you if you just pay attention to your hair then you can kind of start to pick up on what your hair needs. Just listen to your hair, y'all. Just let your hair guide you for the most part. Cool. Now that that's out the way, you've determined how often you're going to wash your hair. There's five steps that you can use, but you don't have to use all of these steps. So number one, pre-pooing. Um, a lot of naturals do this automatically. You use a leave-in conditioner, oil, whatever um it helps to keep your hair from becoming stripped it kind of aids in pre-detangling your hair so that when you get the shampoo it's not too much that you have to deal with me personally i use pre-poo sometimes so 
if my hair has been like this for multiple days or I have it in a puff or a rod set, anything where my hair gets tangled, you know, a protective style, then I usually pre-poo because it helps for me to break up those tangles and it also helps me to retain moisture. Next, you have your shampooing um, stage. Some people like to co-wash. Me personally, I use shampoo. I don't want it stripped then I use a moisturizing one like one that I use that's moisturizing is cream of nature pure honey line that shampoo it moisturizes my hair but when I want something more cleansing um, I tend to opt for um, Axtat clay which I've done a video on before I have to make sure I put that in the description below but um, and there's specific um shampoos that show like clarifying those are one that's really strip everything that would also be a good day to pre-poo um next some people condition a deep condition like i usually buy a deep conditioner or a mask i don't see the point of just using a conditioner because me personally I always deep condition and i don't know that just works for me but that will be your next stage you can use a mask or um you can come up with your own, you know, whether that's honey or some people use avocado, black seed, and aloe vera, like different things that you can mix up. But a lot of times I'm buying products like, uh, I think it's African Best, Africa's Best, that one, um, the Cream of Nature one, multiple ones from them. Um, TGIN has a deep conditioner, just you know product shop around and figure out what works for you some people if you don't want to use heat like i do or steam you can always put a plastic bag or a plastic cap over your hair then wrap it with a towel and just allow that heat to kind of um retain in your hair um that's very helpful so once you've pre-pooed your shampoo you deep conditioned now you can go into uh, moisturizing and styling your hair so with me i usually put leave-in conditioner throughout my hair i section it off and then um i always keep me a spritz bottle of water just to spray my hair in case my hair gets dry um and i usually use like a butter cream now you've heard of the lco method and the loc method that's usually liquid oil cream or liquid cream oil um i don't really use oil because if it's in a product like a cream or butter i just kind of use that as my sealant um i do oil my scalp though like before i twist or do whatever i'm applying um oil to my scalp um just to make sure that it's nourished and then sometimes once i'm finished twisting i will get some oil and kind of run it through my twist um but for the most part i'm using water leave-in conditioner and a cream or whatever i'm not necessarily using oil but find out what works for you if you're a type of person where it's hard where you notice that it's hard to keep moisture in sealing it with a butter or an oil may be beneficial to you another tip is with tangles it is good to leave your hair stretched now i know my hair isn't stressed stretched but it's really helpful if you keep your hair in twist or if you blow dry it um it reduces tangles and honestly it's easier to work with so if you have super tight hair it's just too much start stretching it you can band it you can pull a twist across like to the opposite side and bobby pin it you know there's multiple things you can do even when you twist it and then you retwist it that's kind of like keeping it stretched because when you leave it kind of free like this it is prone um to tangles and you'll notice that with a lot of wash and goes as far as treatments you decide what you would like to add um i think it's good to just start off with shampooing deep conditioning and then styling and then as you go along you can add things for instance i do protein treatments as needed so if i have a protective style or i've been handling my hair a lot i use protein treatment um and i use green beauties um her protein treatment i put it in some deep conditioner mix it together and that's what i use and i find it that it helps revive my curls i know they say with low porosity hair you're not supposed to but i noticed that my hair became so strong with the using protein treatments you don't have to use it every week every month just whenever you feel like it so i kind of just go based on you know what i've been doing with my hair and what styles i've been in rice water acv rinse um the Aztec clay those are things that you can add as needed um 
with whatever works for your schedule. Some people use, what is it called? It's where they use like Amla powder, all these different powders. I don't know what it's called. I'm gonna put the name here, but I don't know, from me, something, you know, but you just add as you go um, with things that you may find on Instagram or YouTube that you may find helpful for your hair but what is key is picking out when you're going to wash your hair whether it's every two weeks or whatever make sure you're shampooing deep conditioning and you're figuring out what level of moisture you need to keep your hair moisturized um that is going to be the basis of keeping your hair um more manageable and stretching it out i think that will make it so helpful when you have tight hair i'm telling you stretching out will helps so much and um you will notice a difference um with your hair so guys that was kind of i tried to make this quick but i might have went over a little bit but hopefully you find this helpful as far as like if you're clueless and you're kind of like what in the world do i do with this and i'm telling you once you have a consistent regimen your hair trains like my hair once i wash it it is so easy to detangle now whereas before it would always it was always a hassle for me to detangle my hair get you a basis and then just notice how your hair responds that's the best thing you can do if your hair is starting to feel dry don't wait an extra two or three days go ahead and moisturize it sis go ahead and retwist it you know um it's going to make your life a lot easier and also don't think you have to do a twist out or a perm rise set every time honey you can put your hair in eight twists like i do and put it in a puff keep it simple you don't always have to have these elaborate styles and i think that's what happens you get product happy you want to try all these different stuff and then you get overwhelmed just take your time one style at a time and realize that it's okay to just keep it simple y'all so I hope that you have found this video helpful. If you have any questions or something that I didn't um, mention in the video, leave your comments and I will definitely answer and respond to y'all. I want to thank you for watching and until the next video.